Welcome to today's BYU software training presentation on electronic thesis and dissertation. Today we are going to cover how to generate an automatic table of contents, list of tables, and list of figures. Previous to this we have created headings and subheadings and inserted page numbers into our document. For more information on how to do this, please consult our videos on headings and page numbering. Since we have done both of those things, we can now easily create our automatic table listings. The first thing we will do is open our navigation pane to make it easier to view our headings we have created. We do this by going to the View tab on the ribbon, and then under the Show command group we select Navigation Pane. Now we can see the layout of our bookmarks. Let's first create a Table of Contents. We place our cursor below Table of Contents, go to the Reference tab, and under the Table of Contents group, select Table of Contents. You can choose the first or second option. I'm just going to go with the first. Our Table of Contents has now been created by Word. We can go ahead and remove the contents heading Word made. Should you want to remove something from the Table of Contents, such as your first three headings, you simply highlight the unwanted section and delete it. And then, to fill this backspace, you simply hit backspace a few times and the extra space has been removed. Consultation with your discipline about what subheadings belong in your table of contents should happen before submitting your document. Should we ever need to update our table of contents, we can select Update Table. We have the option to update our page numbers or in our entire table. Updating the entire table will make our headings appear again. This is helpful if we want to add a new heading to our document and want to update our table of contents. Let's move on to creating a list of table tables or list of figures. Because this document only has tables, I will only demonstrate making a list of figures. Making a list of figures would follow nearly the same process. We first need to add captions to the tables in our document before Word will automatically make our list of tables. Let's move to the first table in our document. I am going to first remove the table 1 text. and then cut the rest of the label so I can later paste it. Then from the References tab I select Insert Caption. The first thing that I need to do is ensure that the options for label instead of saying figure I wanted to say table. And then after table 1 I'm going to insert my text and add a space between them. If I were going to make a table of figures, I would simply repeat the process, but instead of having to say label, I would have it say figure. I then click OK. As we can see, that this is a different style than the one that we want. Should I need to make it a different style, I simply highlight the text, go to my Home tab, and format as I need. I'm going to go ahead and make mine 12 point, and I'm going to make the text black. In addition, I'm also going to remove the italics. If I wanted to make all of my captions this way, I would simply highlight the text. To update the rest of the styles for captions, I could go to this dialog box right here. And normally, a caption style should appear in this box. We would then right click and then we would select Update Caption to Match Selection, which would then modify the rest of the styles for the captions. If this does not appear, we would go down here and select this arrow, and then we would go to Options. Under All Styles, we would want this to show, and then we want this to show as alphabetical so we can easily find the caption style later. We would right click on Caption, and then we would update Caption to match selection. So now, the rest of our styles, our caption styles, will match the one that we've just made. Now I'm going to get rid of this right here. I will now do this for the rest of our tables.
After doing this, we go back to our list of tables page, then place my cursor below list of tables. Under references, we select insert table of figures. Now we want to ensure that from this list right here, the caption label is table, and that how we want to have our page numbers shown is highlighted correctly. Consultation with your discipline will determine if you have your page numbers showing or not showing, and if your labels will show or not show. After this, we go ahead and click OK. And now we have it there. Our tables have, uh, we've created a list of tables. We can modify the format of our list of tables as we would any other text. I'm going to make mine double space and add a space under list of tables. With that, the document has a table of contents and a list of tables included in it. Thanks for watching today's presentation on electronic thesis and dissertation. Please consult the other videos and BYU's official guidelines for more information on how to correctly modify your document. Good luck with finishing and submitting your paper. For other online software training and to sign up for free BYU software training classes, please visit train.byu.edu.